what interests me is that if I sow a seed of doubt, no one so far has been able to say, yeah, no, with certainty, this is what it is. Now, I haven't told anyone they're wrong. In fact, I know for a fact that some of the ones I've looked at are right. But you have to know you're right not because I told you. You have to know you're right because mathematically you can convince yourself. Just like with things like A plus B all squared. And why it's not just A squared plus B squared. So, I want you to have a look. The way I'm going to convince myself is by thinking about this numerically. Algebra is hard. Algebra is one level of abstraction above numbers. Okay? So if in doubt, go to numbers. Okay? Here's an example. See the 3 and the 1 and the 4? I have written everything in this somewhat cumbersome but more instructive NCR notation. Okay? Which terms have I highlighted in orange over here? Which ones are they? Uh, this one is 3C2. Do you agree? Can you see the parallel? Yeah. So it's that one. Then I've got the one next to it, which is 3C3. And then when you add those guys together, you get the one that's in between, 4C3. Do you, you're okay with that? Okay. So I can write this in at least two ways. Maybe a couple more. Right. Let's think about this way. Actually, definitely a couple more. I've run out of space, so I'm going to go over here. If I call this guy here, because remember, I, I did it over here, but I could do this anywhere. I could make this triangle shape anywhere on Pascal's triangle. If I call the 3C2, if I call that MCR, right? Then what is the term next to it? It's, it's going to be NCR plus one. I'm still in the same row, but I've gone one term along. Do you agree? So if you add those, what you get is something on the next row. So I don't write NC, whatever. I write M plus 1, right? I've gone one, t one row down. Does that make sense? So I'm going to have M plus 1. Which term am I up to? Now, on this example, I'm on the third one, which is R plus 1, isn't it? Do you see that? Do you agree? Like that. Okay. So here is one of the ways that you can write this. It's not the only way though. I named 3C2, I named it NCR just because I picked a random word. But I didn't have to name that one NCR. Suppose I call this one NCR. Right? If this one is NCR, what's the term before it? It's NCR minus 1. Do you agree? Is that okay? So what's that equal to? Well, it's still on the next row, right? I have to go a row down. Which term along is it? It's the third one, which in this scheme here, I've identified as R. Do you agree? So here are two ways to write it. Which one is right? Answer, they're both right. Do, do you see why? Like, I've just started from a different point of view. I can start from another one. Uh, same thing. I named this one NCR, then I named this one NCR. What is a logical next choice that I could use? How about this one? What if I call this one NCR? <coughs> Excuse me. This is equal to the sum of the two terms on the row above. Do you agree? So how will I name them? How do I say the row above? Good, so you, uh, you're starting to get the hang of it, okay? So n minus 1, that's the row I'm on. What's this going to be? It's r minus 1, isn't it? Because look, there's r, so that's clearly r minus 1. And the last term along, I'm on that row above, n minus 1, and then I'm back to this same number here. Do you agree? Three ways to write it. Which do you prefer? Which do you like best? <laughs> I like the last one because that's the one I wrote. Okay. Um, look, I, I think any of them is fine. If I had to choose one out of them, I think I'd probably choose this one. Can anyone tell me why this might be a candidate? Yeah. Because there's no negatives. There's no negatives, and because I'm such a discriminatory person, I don't like negatives. Also, this is modeled on how you create Pascal's triangle, isn't it? 
you go from one row to the next, you go down the triangle by adding, as opposed to, oh, where am I now? Look backwards to find out where you came from, okay? Eric. Um, two things. What do you think I've done? The last one, and you want to use the Good point. So when you have a look at something like, say, this guy, and calling it NC, calling that NCR, you somewhat run into a problem because if I were to take that as an example, right, I would say, uh, what is that term? That's going to be 3C3, isn't it? Yeah? Okay, so what's that going to be equal to? How do I, how do I interpret it from this? So, we're in a bit of a dilemma. Why are we at a dilemma? Because 2C3, there isn't a third term over there, is there, right? So you can see here, yes, some definitions are going to be useful in some contexts. Some of them break down because NCR is not defined for any values of N you like or any values of R you like. For instance, this is all, um, this is all in whole numbers. Isn't it? So we haven't talked about anything about like, what if n is one and a half? I don't have nothing to do with that. What if n is negative? I still I don't have something to do with that either, right? So therefore, none of these definitions is water time. But each of them says something true about the relationship between these numbers. In fact, that's why this last one uh, gets a special name. Because it comes out of Pascal's triangle, we call it Pascal's identity. Because, you know, they're very original with their thinking up names. Alright, so, you know what the ends are, you know what the symmetry is, you know what the sum of every row is, and you know how these coefficients relate between rows.